On the main street of the town is a memorial to a man called James Gavin, a local tailor in the area, and also a staunch covenanter. In 1684, Claverhouse captured him, held him down, and with his own tailor's shears, sliced off his ears. He was then banished to the island of Barbados, where he spent many years. After the persecution ended, he returned home, rebuilt his house in Douglas, and the lintel, which was above his door, is now set in this cairn. A short walk from the main street, you will find the statue of James Douglas, the Earl of Angus. This young man was a covenanter and supporter of William of Orange. In 1689, he gathered the Covenanters from the Douglas area and formed them into the Cameronian Regiment, named after the Reverend Richard Cameron. James Douglas was to die three years later, leading his men into battle at the Battle of Steinkirk. He was aged only 21. The Cameronians, however, went on to fight in almost every major conflict that the British Army saw action in, until it was finally disbanded 300 years later in 1968. The statue of the Earl of Angus points down to the grassy area where the Cameronians first mustered on the 14th of May 1689. Nearby is the ruins of St Bride's Church, built in the 1300s. The Reverend Richard Cameron once preached here. Much of the church is in ruins, but part of it still remains. The clock tower which holds the oldest clock in Scotland and part of the mausoleum for the Black Douglases. Inside you will find various carved effigies over the graves of some of the Black Douglas family. The first is of good Sir James, killed in 1330. He died whilst taking the heart of Robert the Bruce to the Holy Lands. One is the 5th Earl and 2nd Duke of Terrain, who died in 1439. His name was Archibald. Both these men's hearts lie in caskets on the floor. Over the other side is the tomb of James the Gross, the 7th Earl and his lady Beatrice Sinclair. But the oldest grave is of Marjorie Abernethy, who died around 1288. Directly opposite St Bride's Church, you will find the former toll booth and Sun Inn. This is now a private residence, but it was in this building, after the Battle of Eard's Moss, that Claverhouse and his men spent the night. The head and the hands of the Reverend Richard Cameron were dumped on a table inside here whilst they ate. Directly opposite St Bride's Church, you will find the former toll booth and Sun Inn. This is now a private residence, but it was in this building, after the Battle of Eard's Moss, that Claverhouse and his men spent the night. The head and the hands of the Reverend Richard Cameron were dumped on a table inside here whilst they ate.